In this video, we take a look over the shoulder of a developer of Anno Online and give you a detailed overview of our upcoming monument feature. Something big is coming to Anno, and the Blue Byte developers are working intensively on the last details. What exactly do they have in store for us, though? And what are the monuments actually good for? The monument feature will be introduced by a quest chain that they will get uh, in the mid game content or uh, mid-game part. Along with this quest chain they will have access to the first monument and the first monument will be the library. The knowledge points will be achieved throughout the game with different mechanics. First of all we will implement new so-called uh, exploration spots. Here the player can gain, achieve um, those knowledge points over time. Second, he can produce the knowledge points within the library itself. However, knowledge points are not only available through the study of runes, you can also earn them by helping other players to build their own monuments. Constructors you send out to help friends will return to you with new knowledge. The first monument you can build with your knowledge points is the library, which will take shape in several building phases. The library is the very heart of this new feature and allows you to access further monuments. The science tree contained within the library will give you an overview over all available monuments and their respective properties. This is where you will find the botanic garden, for example. For the botanical garden, uh, it will grant you a second fertility. Uh, which means, for example, if you have an island with just an herb uh, fertility, you can choose whatever botanical garden you want to uh, build upon, which means we have a botanical garden for every single fertility in the game, and then it adds a second fertility to your island, which is, in our opinion, really a huge benefit. You can expect that we deploy more and uh, even better monuments. For example, uh, what is on our roadmap are or is the cathedral. So the cathedral will be another unique monument and for example the Colosseum. So you really can expect uh, a lot of more monuments to come. That's it for now for our sneak peek from the Blue Byte Studio in Dusseldorf. Have a lot of fun with the new monuments and Anno Online.